So NIMI is a wristband that authenticates your identity based on your cardiac rhythm. So your, your ECG, your electrocardiogram, is a unique biometric, and we put that, uh, the technology to recognize that into a wristband. So you wear it, you put it on, it knows that it's you, and it only works for you. And then communicates to the outside world using Bluetooth low energy, and to bypass passwords and pins, to unlock physical spaces, and to provide a really personalized experience. It's about making identity easy and making it melt away. The thing that is really key to what we're doing is this concept of persistent identity. We found that there's a lot of value in essentially you put something on, it authenticates you, and then that persists for essentially the rest of the day. And now you don't have to take an action every time you want to make a payment or unlock a door or unlock your account. It persists for the rest of the day. Now, if you think about all of the different ways that you use your identity, from the time you wake up, you know, maybe you check your phone, you, know, you, you unlock a device, you get, get outside, you unlock or lock your door, you get into your car, to things like you know, proving that I am who I say I am when I show up to work, driver's licenses, passports, paying for things. Um, there are so many areas that we use our identity without even thinking about it. But they're all small points of friction in our lives that we're trying to, to eliminate. We look at you know, a future where data is like a currency. Right? So information about me, my identity, my preferences, my travel history or location history, you know, the onus is on the service provider to create a compelling enough, convenient enough experience for me uh, and if the service provider can do that, then I'm willing to make that exchange, right? I mean, I think consumers are demanding this level of convenience without sacrificing things like security or privacy. Um, you know, I'm a fairly security conscious person, but I'm already very frustrated at the idea of using passwords, carrying a bunch of keys around, you know, having to remember all of these different forms of identity. As the world gets more complex, we're going to have to come up with a, you know, completely rethink how we use identity. And you know, we, we, we've seen enough market pull that this is an inevitability. So I think we're going to move away from these single function wearable devices, right? I think we're going to move away from things that you know, will only track steps or sleep. Things that can be done on my phone, but it's cool to wear a wearable. I, I think you know, those, those, that's, that's an early fad. I look at wearables right now as you know, maybe where mobile was in the 90s, right? A bunch of single purpose things. You can, do, you, know, you can call, text, and maybe play Snake on your phone, and that's about it. Um, and I think, I think wearables are going to turn into platforms. Well, I think in general people are finding, while it's interesting to wear a sensor that will count your steps and get some information there, I think people, we need to take, go to the next step, which is to have sort of a lot more, uh, let's say, intelligence so that you now have actionable information or things should just be done for you. You know, the idea of the NIMI is that identity is no longer hard. We make identity easy. So it's now, it's not like just taking sensor data and saying, here, look at, look at your information. It's, it's making it useful. And so I think wearables in general, they have to take that leap to say, look, it's, it's not just about counting your steps. It's about how, you know, predict about what you should do next. And, and we're just at the start of that, but I think it, 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 we're, that's where it really has to go in the future.